cold water shock is the first stage of the sudden and unexpected immersion in water of which the temperature is 15 degrees centigrade or lower and occurs during the first minute of exposure. Cold water shock likely causes more deaths than hypothermia. Canada's substantially cold waters are especially dangerous when you fall into them unexpectedly. A person may experience muscle spasms and hyperventilation. Pulse and blood pressure may increase. Sudden immersion into cold water may cause cardiac arrest even for a healthy person. The shock of the cold water can also cause an involuntary gasp reflex that can cause victims to swallow water and drown, even for a good swimmer. Cold water can paralyze the muscles instantly. If you are wearing a life jacket before falling into cold water, it will keep you afloat while you gain control of your breathing and prevent drowning from loss of muscle control. Trying to grab a life jacket while in the water, letting alone putting one on, will be very hard because of the changes your body will be experiencing. People in cold water shock should try not to panic and try to control their breathing. Surviving in cold water. If you end up in the water, do everything you can to conserve energy and body heat. Swim only if you can join others or reach a nearby shore. Do not swim to keep warm. Extend your survival time by always wearing a Canadian approved life jacket or PFD. You will lose energy, which is vital to your survival, trying to keep your head out of the water while you're not wearing one. Climbing onto a nearby floating object to get as much of your body out of the water as possible. If possible, adopt the heat escape lessening position, help. Cross your arms tightly against your chest, dry your knees up, close to them. Huddle with others and make sure that the side of everyone's chests are close together with arms around mid to lower back and legs intertwingled. Protect yourself by wearing a life jacket or PFD, multiple layers of dry clothing and a warm waterproof or windproof outer material. Other equipment that provides additional protection for hypothermia includes floater suits or survival suits that's the full nose to toe PFD. Anti-exposure work suits, that's a PFD with thermal protection rating. Dry suits to be used with flotation devices and a thermal liner. Wet suits to be used with a flotation device which traps and heats water against the body. Immersion suits to be used in extreme conditions when abandoning the ship, usually for offshore use.